Hey guys, it's me, and I'm filming outside, and it's really bright, so I hope you guys don't mind if I wear sunglasses. No, we do. I'm sorry. I can't see. Hmm. And Luna says hi. See, now you don't even care. Okay. So I wanted to film outside today just because I can, and it was nice outside, so I was like, why not film outside? So I hope the lighting's alright, and you can probably hear my neighbors, but that's okay. Um, and this video is probably an unexpected video for many of you who don't know me. Um, this is actually a perfume collection haul, if you didn't read the title. Um, well, not a haul, just perfume collection. So far, I've accumulated a lot. Um, yeah, it's kind of an issue. <laughs> That's okay. But um, I thought I'd just dive right into it and show you guys what I've got because this is a cool video. And I saw, I think it was Fleur. Fleur de Force? I forget what her name is. I feel really bad. But she's really beautiful and she's from somewhere in the UK. I don't know. She's really pretty though. And she did a video like this and I was like, I'm going to do it too. So let's start with my body misty things. Um, First of all, this doesn't even know if this counts. It's just like Calgon body mist, but it smells like red velvet, and it does smell like red velvet. It's really majestic, and it does smell good, so I thought I'd include it. Um, and then I also have a Bath and Body Works little body mister. This is only like the 88 milliliter one. Uh, this is the Be Enchanted scent. It's really yummy. I actually lost the cap, so I think this is like a hairspray cap that's just. Yeah, it smells really good. It's like a fruity floral scent. It's nummy, and I've used about that much of it. Uh, this one's actually new to my collection. I would say it's my newest, but that'd be lying, because I actually just got a perfume today. I have a problem. Um, but this is the Cashmere Glow by Bath & Body Works, and it is the Betty Mist. Um, I actually haven't even sprayed this one yet, but here, let's, let's start right now. It's like a sugary, florally, linen scent. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, like, laundry. Is that weird? Maybe that's what they were going for. I like the smell of laundry, so you got my thumbs up. Bath and Body Works. By the way, we don't have a Bath and Body Works in town. Get this. There's one opening. And I'm like, ah, gonna be living paycheck to paycheck. Woo! <laughs> uh, then I have both of the axe for ladies uh it's axe for her oh uh this is anarchy one and it's the pink one and this one's really florally and this one is anarchy two which is the orange one and it's less florally but it upsets me because this one has a cool pink cap and i thought this one would have a cool orange cap but it doesn't it's just black and it <sighs> axe get your shit together um, and this one is the men's scent, but I, I kind of wear it sometimes, occasionally, when I want to. I just bought black for men. I just got this in Florida. And it, it's, I don't know, it's like musky, but it's not. I don't know. Let's see. Does it have a description on the back? Okay. Are you ready for this? This is what it says. New bod black is smooth, potent, smoking hot so beyond what you or she has ever smelt before. Irresistibly sexy. That's what I smell like when I wear this. I also smell like a man. But it's not that man smell. I don't know. It's like manly, but it's not like, I'm wearing cologne. It's like, I smell good. And it's like, okay. On to the real perfumes, which I can actually turn around and show you. Yeah, it's kind of an issue. That's okay, though. So we'll start with my more florally scents. Um, these are the only two that count as being like floral, but I know of other ones that smell florally. Um, this one is Shania by Stetton. I don't know. I just, I like the bottle of it. It looks like a little lamp, kind of. I don't know. And this is 30 milliliters, so it's like one fluid at. And I, this one's like a floral scent, and it's kind of strong, but I can layer this one on. like. If I spray it once, I can like go over it again and it won't be like, Oh my god, you smell like old lady hooker. You just smell like flowers. It's more rosy, that one. It's more rosy. Whereas this one, which is uh, Sweet Swing by Givenchy. 
I don't know how to pronounce your name. This one is kind of more of like a lilac scent. I don't know what a lilac smells like. I'm just guessing, but it's not like a rose floral where that one's like a rose floral. This one's more like subtle. I personally prefer this one more, um, but it's funny because I'm pretty sure I've used less of this than I have of that. Maybe not. I don't know. How much is in this one? And it doesn't say because it's not a sticker, but now, if you guys have watched some of my hauls, you might be like, hey, I've seen these before, but I have five of the Adidas scents, so I'm not actually going to tell you what each of them smells like. Um, maybe I'll put a little short description of what they smell like down below, but this one is Adidas Tropical Passion, uh, Free Emotion, Fresh Escape, uh, Pure Lightness. I actually like this one. kind of smells like linens. I don't know why. I like the smell of linens. It kind of smells like linens and like sea, like ocean. It's weird. Ah. <laughs> and this one is fruity rhythm, so obviously this one smells more fruity than the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, then I'll go into this one. I actually don't know how to explain this one because it's awkward. Uh, but this is actually a Jennifer Lopez perfume. I've had this for a long, 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 long time, and um, I'm like halfway through it. I use this most days. It's called Live or live. I don't know. I don't have the cap for it. It looks like there's like a little capper thing that goes on top. I don't have the cap thing. So it's just, but I love the bottle. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like got different shades of like purple, green, and yellow, and they kind of like mesh together. It's really cool. I'll try and figure out what this one smells like for you guys. I don't know. It just smells good. It's kind of like a more grown up y scent, but it's not super grown up y. Uh, this one has 100 milliliters in it, so this baby's gonna last me for a long time. Then I will go on to this one, which is like my true grown-up scent, which I only wear for like grown-up occasions. Uh, this is a Rihanna perfume. I believe it's called Rebel. I forget exactly what it's called. I'll put it here. Um, but this one smells like grown-ups. I don't know. It's like almost got like a cinnamon kick to it. It's weird. It's like a spicy perfume of sexiness and grown-upness all in one. It's really cool. Um, I really like the smell of it. It's kind of like a female version of this with like floral undertakes and cinnamon. I don't know. It's really weird. But I, I'm, I only wear this for like fancy occasions. That's why there's not very much I'll out of it. I'll go on to this one next because I'm trying to keep all of that one group together. Uh, this is the Lady Gaga Fame perfume. I still, I keep all of my perfumes that I bought in a box, back in the box usually. Um, and this one I actually have not used yet because I'm still using the testers and I'm trying to dive more into the other body mists that I have because I have some that I've never used before. Um, and this one smells like majestic babies. It's kind of, it's like a sweeter scent. It's really fun to wear. I love wearing it. So this first group that I, one other group that I have is, a Har, they're all Harajuku lovers, which is by uh, Gwen Stefani, if you guys didn't know that. But uh, this one is a tester that I got given a long time ago, like when they were still up and running and still making them. Uh, this is Love, and this is from the Wicked Style line. Um, it smells really good. Oh, I haven't sprayed it in a while. It's kind of, it's like a more fruity scent. There's not much floral to it. It kind of smells like a sweet, fruity scent. Like it almost smells like it has like some candy in it. <laughs> it's weird, but it smells really good and I like wearing it. And I'm probably about that deep into it. So I think I've had that since like grade seven. And then I got this one, which is the Harajuku Lovers uh, Little Angel. I don't know what one this is from, whether this one is from the Wicked Style line or whether just the regular line. Um, this one I really love the smell of, so I'm going to be kind of sad when I'm done with it. Uh, I'll probably save it for a while. It's kind, It's like, I don't know, it smells kind of citrusy to me, but no one else smells it. It's weird. It's like, it almost smells like Mountain Dew, but like Code Red. It's weird. It smells like Code Red Mountain Dew with floral undertones in it. It's really nice. And she's so pretty. She's got red hair. And their heads are like velvet feeling. It's really nice. Alright, well, then I'm down to my two 
probably, well, at least my favorite perfume that's soon to be my favorite perfume. I still have yet to open it because I'm like saving it. Um, but I will show you this one, which I actually got today off a used site, but it was barely used. Uh, this is the Harajuku Lovers G in Wicked Style. Uh, this is, I will open it. I know guys, I'm opening this, it's kind of rare. Um, she looks like this. Uh, she's a little blonde girl with pigtails and she's got the little velvet head as well. Um, when you pull off the cap, She's more of a she's more of a florally scent to be quite honest, uh, but she does have really sweet undertones. Uh, I just got her today, so I can't give you a very good description of what she smells like. Uh, all I know is that she smells really good, and I'm glad that she is in my possession and my collection. And then my last perfume in my collection so far is the Harajuku Lovers fragrance in G. Uh, this is the one that smells like. Mexico. Mm, it smells like pina coladas and coconut and sugar. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I have yet to open it because I'm savoring it because I'm really going to be miserable when I don't have this perfume because I, I, I love it and I have a tester of it and I'm even cherishing the tester guys so that means something. Um, she looks like this if you guys are wondering on the back of the box. See it still has the cellophane wrap on it. I haven't even opened her yet because I'm just, I'm so gumpy. <laughs> I don't want to use it, <laughs> but I have to, otherwise it'll smell gross. Anyways, so that was my perfume collection. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's kind of large, but it's not very large because a lot of them are just like body scents and a lot of them are these Adidas perfumes, which are kind of, you know, they're Adidas perfumes. It's not like they're like high class perfumes or anything, but that's okay. Um, so I hope you guys liked this and maybe I'll make another one in the future when I have updated ones but I don't I don't plan on getting more perfumes for a while unless I find more of the Harajuku lovers cuz I really like them they're my friends um so I'm gonna go cuz I so have dinner until next video I'm over and up